Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog here on the Woo Stew. It is finally Friday and I'm signing off from work just a little bit early right now because I'm just simply sick of working, okay? It's been a long work week and I'm ready to just start my weekend. I'm all dressed right now with a puffer, which is so thick by the way, and this close little beanie because I'm gonna go outside for a quick walk. I just wanna go and get some coffee and the reason why I have all this on is because it is finally snowing here in New York City. This is um, my first snow here, so it was so exciting. Look at the back of my apartment, you guys. Look at this snow. It literally just happened overnight. And I was like up editing until almost 3 a.m. last night and didn't even know it was like snowing. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my God, I'm so excited. But anyways, I wanted to go ahead and also introduce um, like a new vlog series that I want to do here on my channel. I haven't quite decided what I want to name it yet, but it's going to be something like Eat With Me in New York City. I've realized that through filming and editing um, all my vlogs here in New York City, that all I do is pretty much eat. And that's like all I feature in my videos. So I've kind of just decided that for some of these vlogs, I want to focus more on the food. Um, a big part of why I moved here to New York City is because of all the fantastic cuisines there are in different pockets of neighborhoods throughout New York City. Um, so many hidden gems, so many different foods that I have never tried before from different cultures. So um, I definitely want to try out new restaurants over the weekend when I can and film it all for you guys so you maybe have some inspiration on when you can eat whether you live here in New York City or whether you're just traveling here so yeah um, we're gonna kickstart the food tonight um, but right now let's go out and get some coffee and admire the first snow in New York City To a Thai restaurant in Astoria, Queens that specialized in boat noodles. Boat noodles are traditionally sold and served by vendors in canoes on the rivers of Thailand and are regarded as a beloved comfort dish to most of those who are Thai. The first appetizer that we ordered was Yum Woon Sen, which is a Thai glass noodle salad with shrimp, squid, peanut, fresh chili, and lime juice. I thought the portion of this was a little small, but it was definitely very refreshing. Second appetizer that we ordered were the egg rolls stuffed with taro, cabbage, and glass noodles. Andrew and I were really hungry, so we finished it within seconds, but it was nothing special, so I probably wouldn't get it again. Then came the star of the show. Boat noodles consist of broth thickened with pig blood, meatballs, rice noodles, liver, fried pork rinds, and herbs. If you've never had boat noodles before, the rice noodles are similar to pho noodles that you've had, but the broth is definitely something else. My favorite part is how uniquely spiced it is. I love the fragrance of the star anise and even the cinnamon in the broth. It was so good and comforting. It is so cold. It's snowing. Snow. Yes, snow. Anyways, 
those boat noodles were delicious. I haven't had boat noodles in so long. But I wanted to mention that um, I was craving boat noodles because I watched this one mukbanger, Sass ASMR. She's, um, she's Canadian, but she's Thai by ethnicity and her family lives in Northern Thailand and she goes back to Thailand a lot to like film what she eats there in the village with her mom and her family and she always eats boat noodles. So it just made me really crave them because I love watching her videos. So yes. And now we are gonna go and see if there's dessert that we wanna get. Oh, Ammonia Cafe. We've been here once before. They have the best fraps or frappes. Ooh. Oh my God. Look at these decadent cakes. Oh wow, he's super cute. Hey, man. How are you? Hey. Yeah? Oh. Thank you, man. Thank you. 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 Thank uh, a red velvet cake pop and then Andrew got a strawberry cheesecake and I'm just enjoying it with some wine. This is the Charles Shaw wine at Trader Joe's. Okay, the price went up. It used to be $2.99 and now it's $3.49. But nonetheless, very cheap. And we're just gonna watch some YouTube. Have a good day, guys. Just like me, I'm a professional. You gotta be sound. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. I'm with Andrew. <laughs> And we are in Chelsea right now because we are gonna be eating brunch at Jack's Wife Frida, somewhere that I've been wanting to try for a really long time now. I feel like this place is super Instagrammable. You see it all the time. It's kind of like a brunch all day diner place that has Israeli and um, South African inspired food. There's a really cute story behind it that you can check out on their website. But this place has gotten super popular over the years that they even have um, locations in Tokyo now, which is pretty cool. Um, and the original store, or the original restaurant started in Soho. But we're in Chelsea because we're gonna get some dessert after this. So yeah, let's check out their food and have a good brunch. And the weather today is so nice. Nice and sunny, and it's not snowing, but there's snow on the ground. So, yep, let's go. This is our next destination, Harbs Coffee and Cake. And I believe this has Japanese inspired, okay, I could be wrong. Oh, some Japanese tea. So it's just known for its cakes as well as its big selection of tea. Yep, let's go in. Here. Oh. oh yeah, so Andrew got the yuzu sencha, which is a Japanese tea with little yuzu bits, which is citrus. Looks really light and refreshing. Yuzu-y. Which I like. 
All right, we have got our cake. This is a mille crepe cake. Six layers of crepe with fresh fruit and cream mixed in the middle. Fresh cream. This looks so good. I cannot wait. I really love crepe cakes, by the way. I've tried Thai tea and green tea crepe cakes. I think this one has less layers. Um, but I like how much fresh fruit is in here and the different kinds of fruit too. Mm. And I got the royal milk tea. It is Sunday and we are getting ready to go out for our first meal of the day. We are gonna go to the Lower East Side and get some good and homey, comforting Puerto Rican food. Our last trip recently was actually just to Puerto Rico, so I definitely miss the food so much. Um, this place is on Avenue C. It has a long history of being a, a very important part of the Puerto Rican community. Adela, it's called Casa Adela. Adela is no longer with us, but her family does run the business and they're known for their um, rotisserie chicken as well as some other really authentic Puerto Rican food. So we're gonna go and check that out. Starting out the meal with their famous cafe con leche, which is uh, basically coffee with milk and it's served in this cute classic New York style cup. Simple, garlicky. Yeah. Oh my god, reunited with tostones, fried green plantains. It comes with this oil with garlic. Do the honors. Yummy? Oh my god, I love patacones. It's like one of my favorite things. Reunited with mofongo. So good. This is a uh, mashed up fried green plantains with chicharron, pieces of pork, garlic, olive oil, a little side soup slash stew here. This place is known for their pollo asado rotisserie chicken. We got half of one. This looks delicious. Andrew got some rice and pigeon peas with the uh, carne guisado, the beef stew. Looks like it has some hearty potatoes, carrots, and it comes with a side of red beans. 